What is up legends? Join us for a quick Pokemon card hunt today. We're going to check out a few different stores, but I do want to check out Best Buy while I'm in this area because I never was able to pick up the Bulbasaur 151 promo card. And uh, this one, they tend to get them eventually, but they usually don't have them uh, on the release day. So hopefully they still have some left. Let's go check it out. Do you have both? Thank you. Yep. Very nice. All right, we got some Obsidian Plains and Paradox Rift. Damn, how do you have all three pack blisters? Some ETBs, tins, the Oikolone EX box. Interesting. All right, very nice. Obviously, they had a few different things on the shelves, but more importantly, we were able to get our promos. They gave me not only the Bulbasaur one, but also the Espeon one. So that was very nice of them. I think we'll head on to maybe one or two more stores next just to see what they have. Let's go. Now I can't say I know exactly what I'm hunting for today, but um, you know, 151 definitely gets bought up pretty quick from the shelves. So if we find any of that, maybe we'll have to pick it up today, but it is a Monday, so I don't know. They may not have anything. Oh nice, it looks like we actually do have some 151 product. We got the uh, poster collection box. Mini tins and some other stuff. But over here, nice. We got the Charizard EX box. We got the Alakazam 151 box. Nice, we do have some more 151. Though I actually have not opened up this Charizard EX box. I might have to pick this one up today. Oh, and over here we got even more 151. We got the Zapdos box, which is another box I have not opened up yet. I might have to pick up this one as well since we have it. Interesting, we got MetaZoo 3-pack blister for the native set. Oh man, guys, look over here. We got even more 151. I definitely stand corrected. We're finding a lot here. We got all these UPCs. We even got some ETBs over here. Man, this is crazy. Tons of product. This is one of the biggest restocks I've hit in a while. Dang, what a crazy restock. I think we're gonna just check out uh, GameStop real quick, just for good measure, right next door here. Well, Legends, some absolutely insane restocks here today. Uh, I didn't end up getting anything at GameStop, uh, but they do have quite a bit there. And uh, Target, as you can see, was completely stocked to the brim. They even had a lot of 151. So as you saw, we picked up the uh, Zapdos EX box, which I haven't opened up yet. And then also the Charizard EX box. And uh, actually this, uh, this product I saw was actually cheaper online on the Target website than they had it listed here. Uh, so I had someone adjust it for me. So just a tip if you decide to pick this up at Target. But yeah, guys, super successful hunt today. Let's go back home and open this stuff up. Well, thanks guys for joining us on the hunt today. I really did not expect to find as much as we did, but yeah, we got the Charizard EX box and the Zapdos 151 box. So super excited to get into that with you guys in just a moment. But guys, if you're enjoying the content so far, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button below to come along the collecting journey with me. Let's go ahead and get into our opening. All right, why don't we start off opening up our Charizard EX box. We'll save the Zapdos box for a little later. Definitely seems like a cool box. I'm kind of excited about some of the contents inside. I've been wanting to pick one up for a while now. Definitely is an interesting box. Is uh, It came out after 151, but it does not have any 151 products or any packs in it, I should say. Um, seems like they should have at least included maybe one or two, but anyway. We do appear to have just our different Scarlet and Violet packs that have released so far. Actually, and this came out before Paradox Rift, so you don't even have any of those in here, but we do have Obsidian Flames. This box is obviously more of an Obsidian Flames themed sort of thing. All right, Paldi Evolve, Scarlet and Violet. Looks like we got uh, two of each main set so far. Okay, it looks like we also have 
some deck sleeves with the Terra Charizard on there. Those are kind of cool looking. And we got three cards here. One of them is a promo card, the Charizard EX Terra type. Actually kind of wanted this box, believe it or not, for the Charmander and Charmeleon Hollow. So these are just uh, commons that did not come in Hollow in the set. So, I don't know, kind of unique. I definitely wanted it for my binder. Let's grab the other two here. I really like this uh, Charmeleon artwork. Definitely cool seeing him in the snow. Really reminds me of the, uh, the Radiant Collection ones, which technically the Charizard is the one that's in the snow in that case, but definitely a missed opportunity though that they didn't include the hollow, uh, the Cosmos hollow pattern on there. All right, now we also have our Black Star promo, the Charizard EX. I'll have to say I don't really like this one. Um, you know, the one that actually comes in Obsidian Flames, uh, even the regular version, I think is okay. I, I don't mind it, but this one, I just feel like the angle of his neck just looks so strange to me. But anyway, we'll uh, use it for demonstration purposes because it looks like this also comes with a little display stand, which is actually really sweet. Looks like it's actually like a one touch or at least a similar equivalent. What I'm hoping is that we can actually fit it in there with our perfect fit sleeve. Usually that works out well, but let's see here. It's very, very snug. I might, I don't know. I'm kind of worried I'm gonna pinch it, but whatever, we'll see. All right, there we go. Got it in there. Yeah, those perfect fit sleeves actually work perfectly for this sort of case here. If you're interested in those uh, perfect fit sleeves, they are linked in the description below. All right, it looks like, okay, it is by Ultra Pro. So, got a little display thing here. There we have it. Pretty cool, honestly. I'm, I feel like it's kind of one of those products that should have been included in Pokemon boxes for a long time. So, glad they finally did it. Also, real quick, just, uh, I know I showed them before, but here are the uh, promo cards that we got from Best Buy. Espeon, super cool one from Obsidian Flames, and then Bulbasaur, 151. Love those. Now guys, I also wanna let you know that if you guys are interested or excited about the upcoming Shiny set, uh, in Japanese it's called Shiny Treasure EX, they have actually just gone out for pre-order on pokeyne.com. It's a great resource if you're looking to find a place to get legitimate Pokemon card products, especially for the Japanese, um, I think Korean market as well. You can go pre-order those. I actually pre-ordered mine, so hoping to be able to open it up with you guys at some point on the channel. And by the way, if you use my link in the description below, you'll actually get a free booster pack with your purchase, so definitely recommend Pokey any but let's go ahead and get into our scarlet and violet packs we got a white code card just what you want to see right here we go we got Ralts. that's pretty cool I recognize that from the scarlet and violet games rebard reverse bruxish hollow armorage A white code card again. Again, just what you'd like to see. And for those of you who don't know, I am being facetious. Usually that means you are not gonna get a hit. And sure enough, that's okay because actually Paldea Evolve is a half decent set. There are a lot of cards I would love to pull from this set. Not a huge chase that I'm excited about. The Iono, I don't really care much for, but I'd love to get that Magikarp. I'd love to get that Tyrantar. There's a lot of really great uh, illustration rares in this one. So let's get one of them today. Pincurchin, Luxio, Reverse, Corviknight, nothing there, and Hollow Glimora. Man, just, uh, we're just knocking it out of the park today. Have a code card. Let's get something finally. Let's go. Jigglypuff. Giraffe rig. I really like that 
that artwork of him. Arctabax, Giacomo, Talonflame, Calamitous Snowy Mountain, Reverse, Corvus Squire, and finally something, Chien Pao EX. Kinda brutal. Again, and people wonder why people don't like these first few sets that much. It's because they're just not that fun to open. It's not that there aren't cool cards inside, but when you open a bunch of packs and you get nothing that you really care about adding to your collection, it makes you not want to open it at all. So, just throwing that out there. Whoops, got that fire energy though. Let's pull the fire. Got Charmander. Okay, this is Obsidian Flames. I almost forgot what I was opening here. We still would love to pull the gold Charizard from this set, as well as the Nine Tails. There's some other great ones that I'm failing to remember right now. Here we go, Town Store. Hey, we got the Ortega. Actually, I've pulled this guy before. Pretty cool full art trainer though. All right, well, we've been breezing through this box. We've got our last pack from it. We've got Obsidian Flames up next. Starting off with Dratini. I love that artwork as well. Oddish, Swablu, Glimmet, Houndoom, Gramble, Malmar, Fungus Reverse, and anything in this spot? Nope. And we got Scovalian Hollow. Again, we got some hits, but are those hits that we really care about? For me, no. But we have an entire box of 151, the Zapdos EX box, which actually, actually I've never opened before. But it's one I've wanted to open up for one primary reason. And no, it's not for this Zapdos EX Black Star promo. It's actually for this incredible Electabuzz hollow right here with the galaxy pattern on it. Such a really beautiful card. I love the artwork and I love that they made it in a hollow. Got the sparkly borders as well. Whoops, drop that, but you can have that. That will go in the Electabuzz page of my binder. Oh, and that actually was my last sleeve, so we actually gotta open up our Perfect Fit sleeves here. So here's what they look like. It's a Japanese company, it seems. We'll stick that in our mini tin. Those come in handy for that. All right, just a couple 151 packs today. The hits are always hit and miss, so we could hit absolutely nothing, but we also could hit it big. Let's see which one it is. Either way, at least we know if we pull something, it's gonna be a card we actually enjoy and like. Definitely love this set. If you haven't figured that out already, here we go, or C. Nidoran, Abra, love that art. Golduck, Pinsir, Bill, Orion. Energy Sticker, oh nice. Nice, nice, the Mew EX Full Art, which we've pulled before, but hey, we'll take it. This one actually is a little bit valuable because I think it's very playable, so I'm sure someone will buy it off of me. I ain't mad about it. All right, starting things off right for our 151 box. Let's hope we have maybe at least one more hit in store. We got Tangela, Coughing, Psyduck, Ekans, Primeape, Firo, Onyx, Haunter Reverse, Hitmonlee, Nice, and we got a Jinx. All right, well, maybe not the the hit we were hoping for for the second one, but at least we got one. But let's keep going. You never know. We've been having some decent luck lately. Recently opened up some celebrations and pulled a hit in pretty much every pack. Let's go. Bill, Golbat, Leftovers, Magnemite, 
Charmeleon Reverse, cool one though. And a Weezing. Getting a lot of hollow energies though. Nice one with some swirls in there. All right, Legends, let's get our last pack magic. We got a Pierce. Voltorb, Krabby. Oops, grab two. Kabuto, keep grabbing two. We got the Pikachu Reverse. Anything underneath him. Nope, we got the Shelter and a Hollow Articuno. Now guys, if you need any of these cards, we actually will have them for sale up on the Pokemon Legends Marketplace. Link in the description below. We have many other cards there for sale, so make sure you check that out. And if you use my link, you'll actually get a $5 credit to use on there. So make sure you take advantage of that. Make sure you check out one of these videos here if you like Pokemon card hunts and openings. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below to support the channel. And lastly, I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you next time.